Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to an episode of Cooking with Simply Royal. And my name is Fausat Sani Yusuf. Today, we are going to be looking at a dish called a papa. A papa is a traditional moi moi like meal that is traditionally predominant in Kogi state, specifically the Ebiras. It's a dish that is made from beans that has not been skinned off. So we are going to look at some of the ingredients today and we have some chili pepper, garlic, turmeric, oregano, onions, and then the beans itself. Come along, let's go. Okay, so you put some beans and some pepper with onions and the other ingredients into the blender and you add some water and you cover the blender with the lid and then you grind till you get a paste that is not 100% smooth. The beauty of this meal is that it has some roughness to it. You don't grind the beans traditionally like you do moi moi, that you grind it to a smooth paste. You grind this one not to be very smooth. So after grinding the beans with the wet ingredients to a smooth paste, we now add our spices and palm oil. Now this is homemade spice that is made with natural ingredients and we take out of the palm oil to grease the cups which serve as mold for the cooking. Okay, you put some drops of palm oil in each cup and then you grease the cup by using your finger to rub the inner side of the cup and you do that for each of the cups. The reason why you have to grease the cups is so that when your upper part is cooked and cooled enough, you can just get it out of the cup mold in a very nice shape and it also gives your apapa a very good taste as well you know from tasting the palm oil 
so after greasing the cups you now take your homemade spice and for the purpose of this meal i am using frank's kitchen homemade spice so you take out some spice and add to your beans paste and you stir it into the beans paste and you add as much as you think you would need and then stir properly to get an even consistency you then add your salt you add a little bit of salt to taste take out some salt sprinkle it stir it evenly to get a uniform taste you make sure that you stir it properly stirring also introduces air into the mixture and makes it also fluffy then another thing i need to add is we don't add as much water in preparing this like in moi moi we now add some palm oil and you can see this is real nice and thick natural palm oil you don't need to use so much but traditionally in the olden days our mothers tend to use a lot more oil than what i'm using in this recipe but you know based on what we know now and due to health consciousness and co we do not encourage you eating so much oil fats and oil so you just put just enough to make the food yummy so you stir in the palm oil and then you have tasted the paste for salt and pepper so the oil is just to add some bit of fat and oil into the mix and you give it a final taste to be sure that everything is all right set aside the mixture that is ready and then you get a pot and put some water into the pot not so much water just enough water for you to use in steaming our cups of a papa you now get the mixture that you have added oil and every other ingredient you now scoop into the already greased cups and put immediately on fire and you do that for all the cups arranging them neatly and it is possible that you have a first layer in the pot and then you have another second layer of the cups arranging it in such a way that they do not overlap and to allow for enough steaming and cooking so you put an arrange beautifully My madam waiting they call uh, madam Fausat. <laughs> restless tireless always running from pillar to post half of the time not for her own but for others she's just the best mm.